with employee morale. Start with employee morale. Employees have reached out to me say anybody but Glenn. Okay. So you want to hold Glenn accountable because the, the employees are not happy. This is the way I look at it. The employees, they're in the trenches. Your company is, is only as good as your employees and how you treat your staff. If our staff has, is, if they're low morale, if they're not happy, if they're disgruntled, how do you, that has, is going to have a direct effect on our residents. Our streets, they won't, they won't, they won't be as proactive to, to go to our, our, uh, our, our sewers and when it's a big flood to unclog them. They're not going to be in a hurry. They're not going to be excited to go to work. They're not going to be. Excuse me. Yeah, thank you. All right. Does anyone want to make a motion? Um, I'll go ahead and move that we appoint Steve Beerbaum. Um, I want to thank Ms. Beats for being so willing to come and help with your, with your amazing qualifications. You would be an asset, but we did have a lot of the employees union, the, 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 the employees represented say they wanted to have Mr. Beerbaum appointed and I respect their selection. So I would like to move that we select Mr. Beerbaum. All right, do I have a second? I'll second that. All right, let's vote. Okay, so now what do we do? Do we go on to... There's only one other motion that can be made. To go or just make a motion for... Okay. So do we have a motion for um, Gifty Beats? A motion for Gifty Beats. And I just, when I, when I looked at her uh, professional activities as well as her education and community activities, I a lot of it stood out to me, you know, human resource management. Um, obviously, she was nomin nominated by the... By the, by the staff as well, but it looks like she has a a good history of negotiations and being a, a being non biased. Um, I just like to say that the choice that the employees made was for Mr. Beerbaum, and I'm I'm doing what the employees want. You guys want something? I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to help you. We also have 23 managers that want gifty beats, but. It doesn't weigh out when you weigh it out. It's just it's lopsided. So I'm under the impression that this is an employee's. The employees picked this and asked us in the past to to uh, and put this person forward. And then I don't know what happened this time around or why it's taken so long. I believe it's been four months since the, it's been vacant or something, or since December. The, the vacancy was accepted by council on December 10th, and then there's 10 working days required before um, it can be appointed. And as soon as I had um, nominations from all the employee boards, we did put it on the agenda. So you said there's 23 managers that wanted Gifty? Yeah. Where, where's that information? Well, this is what I spoke with employees. It's in the, I think it's in the report. It's in the report. I'm trying. Could... Carrie, do you have, have that information on which unions, which um, associations wanted um, Ms. Beats and which associations wanted Mr. Beerbaum? And can we get numbers on those? I don't have numbers of um, how many employees belong to those associations. I have 165 employees that want Mr. Beerbaum and then 23 managers that want Ms. Beats. It was the Upland City Employees Association and the Upland Police Officers Association that did nominate Mr. Beerbaum. And it was the Upland Mid Managers Association that appointed Ms. Beats. So there was only one association that wanted Ms. Beats, and the Managers Association would be about how many members? I honestly don't know the number. I would say 23 is probably okay. a good so, estimate, but, but I don't know the number. less than the ones Correct. that chose Mr. Beerbaum. Correct. And we had two associations that wanted Mr. Beerbaum, so yes. there was oh. a lot more that wanted him 
than the manage, than the ones that supported Ms. Beats, correct? The I do believe those two associations have the largest membership. Thank you. Well, the thing I'm looking at, go ahead. I was going to say that the process that's used for uh, any appeal in the Police Officers Association does not go to this personnel board of review. It goes to binding arbitration. Um, so they don't actually use this. The police officers don't actually use this board. Okay. So that count then is not really correct on, okay. Okay, my thing is that you're giving us information, uh, Brudy's giving, well, Council Member, uh, you're just giving me information that's not on the packet, and I'm really, obviously, I'm trying to make my decisions off what's given to us in the staff packet, and and uh, according to the Brown Act, we're supposed to only discuss things that are on the packet. If you get outside information, that, needs, that, should, that should be presented to the whole council, because you're making decisions off off uh, information that wasn't on the packet that I did not know about, which is, uh, I believe, uh, from I, I had from League of Cities, we can't do that. I had employees re reach out to me and the, okay. the heads of the unions, no, and no. that's that's who, how many. Well, Member Felix, it's not a brown egg okay. issue. It's a question of everybody getting the same information yeah, at the same time. But you, you can, if you have information, you're, you can put it in. Well, I had, I had em employees reach out to me and ask yes. to, right. to vote for Mr. Beerbaum. So even without the Police Officers Association, though, we still have more city employees um, in the association well, than then, in the management. Then, Excuse me. Then I, I'll move to table this so that we can all have the same information because you guys are going off information that I did not receive. So I'll, I'll, I'll move to uh, table this and to, until we all get the same information. So let me ask Carrie a quick procedural question because I'm not that familiar with this. Okay. So all all three of these associations are entitled to suggest an appointment. Is that correct? That's correct. So whether or not the police association is involved in a process before this board, according to our rules, they're still entitled to suggest a name. Yes. Okay. And during during our public the public speaking, we had the police association and the employees association right today speak in favor of Steve Beerbaum. Whether in if they didn't re reach out to me um, during the week I, after listening to him to tonight, I would have voted in favor of what they're asking for. Okay, so we have you have a motion. Uh, we have a motion um, to table to table it. Does does he have a second and, on that? I'll second that. All right. So let's vote. Okay. So it will now, that's the four fifths vote, so we can table it, correct? You could table on a three two vote. The four oh, anyways, okay. Four fifths is okay. just to a point. All right. So we'll go ahead and table that till um, the next meeting or. And, and, and Steve Beerbaum's still back on the, on the list, obviously, right. but we just need to get all the information, okay? Miss City Manager, would that come back on the next? Okay. <laughs>